How to connect to people as an introvert? Well, think about this. How would you describe extroverts connecting? Would you say that it's maybe, you know, they're just, they're just in social situations and they naturally seem to be able to communicate well and comfortably? Would you agree? That's what I think. They just put themselves in situations and the key difference between extroverts connecting with people as opposed to introverts connecting with people is the fact that a extrovert is probably fueled by social situations and an introvert is not not fueled by social situations. In fact, their energy is drained. I would pres I, I would go, I'm not an extrovert. I would call myself an omnivert. I would say, and you might agree, that a extrovert does not have a social battery in the same sense that an introvert does. So to start this off, I'll ask you, what do you think would happen if you've got you, the person, talking to someone else, being slowly drained by the interaction no matter who it's with? No matter who it's with? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think you're going to be able to connect? Probably not. You're probably going to struggle. You're probably going to like struggle to focus on that human being. You're probably going to be in your head. You're probably going to have trouble having an in-depth conversation or really caring, like wanting to hear big answers from them. Cause I mean, you have to come up with big responses, which further trains you. Now I want you to think about something interesting. What is a connection to you? What is a connection to you? Is a connection to you, okay, what are, some examples might be how much you make the person laugh. Is that an example? What about there not being much silence between, you know, what you say, what they say, you know, your sentences. Is that, is that, is that important? Whether they approve of your opinions or not, whether, whether, is a, is a, is a good connection a situation where you never say no, like you never disagree with that person, is that it? Okay, so then answer me, what is connection? What is human connection? Think about when you have had a good conversation with someone and have left feeling actually more fueled than when you started the interaction. How many, how often does that happen? Can you remember? I would say a connection is when you're on the same wavelength as someone. You feel them, like you you feel what they're saying, you see them, you see them, and it's almost like your aura, your space is like a part of theirs and you're like engaged with them. And you're always like dragged into each other's kind of world, having this conversation, which might seem intimate, but it doesn't need to be. Also, if you have intimacy issues, subscribe because I have as well in the past, I probably still kind of do, and I'll probably make videos about it. I might not, who knows. But so looking at what, okay, connection, okay, being on the same wavelength as someone, let me ask you another question. How, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna have the answer right away. How do you get on the same wavelength as someone? How do you do that? What, what, when, when have you been on the same page as someone where you're like, yeah, we get each other. If you're looking at, we get each other. Was that situation, was it like, oh, I don't know, was it, were you guys in a familiar context? Like you guys were both at fucking Comic Con, for example, and you've got, you've got something to talk about, you've got a topic of, a topic of, of obvious discussion. Maybe that. Was it when you had the same, you just were, you just happened to have the same interests? You know, think about that. My perspective on it though, is a few tips I want to get, a few things I want to propose and you can agree or disagree with them. I say to be on the same wavelength as someone to, to promote that possibility, you really should consider not trying to be someone that you're not. You should consider, you know, like, would you, would you rather be someone else or be you and be comfortable being you. I'd much fucking rather be comfortable being me. And you know what, if I'm more comfortable, chances are the other person's gonna feel more comfortable as well. I don't know, that's hard to believe. It's not, it's not actually hard to believe, is it? 
it's, it's reasonable, it's fair enough. I would also say stop thinking awkward moments are a thing. Look, to start that off, by the way, if if you're having an interaction with someone, you and someone else, they don't think it's awkward and you don't think it's awkward, is it awkward? No. Exactly. But if one of you thinks it's awkward, does it technically become an awkward interaction? Yeah, kind of does, doesn't it? So just by thinking something is awkward means you're making it awkward. So you, that is like what, choosing the route of discomfort. If you're choosing to think that like something you said is awkward or you're acting awkward, it's like just you say a certain thing or you do a certain thing, just try and be comfortable with that decision. Try and just, okay, I've said something, that's it, no, it's whatever. I've just said words, I've just done an action. It's just words and actions. That's all it is. If you knew someone was nervous as well, by the way, you're speaking to this person, you're seeing them and they say something that people think would be cringe, like, would you judge them for it? No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, okay, they've just chosen to talk. And there you go. In fact, I, I would feel a little bit... Like, looking at them, kind of be like, oh yeah, I, I kind of want to, like, that's good that he just, he just said the thing. Like, I want to just say things. I think that's pretty cool, just saying things and not caring. I also want to touch on the fact that if someone in a two-way interaction thinks something is awkward, I guess that just means you two aren't on the same wavelength. If people aren't naturally in sync, is that anyone's fault? I want you to answer me this. Is that anyone's fault? Two people. I have a certain, like, energy, this person has a certain energy, they're not in sync or in balance, and we're not on the same page or wavelength. Is it this person's fault? Well, no, because this person has their own energy. So is it this, person, is it this person's fault? No, it's neither. It just is what it is. If you're on the same wavelength as people, it, it just, it's not your fault. It's not something to feel guilty about. Another thing I want to say is stop putting pressure and expectations on yourself. If I were to expect myself to be really energetic Riley all the time, like I used to do, treat it, I wouldn't have the same social success that I did today. Like some, I, I, saw, I talked to so many of my co-workers, we've got so many co-workers in the building, I speak to them and sometimes I just say, yeah, yeah, I'm alright. You know, how you would, and I, I don't even care that it's limited because sometimes I, I usually have really good interactions and conversations. But sometimes I don't because I'm not feeling it, and I literally have no problem with that. I have no expectation of how I should treat people, like interact with people conversation wise. Therefore, it's all fine. It, there's no, there's no expectation at all. It's just saying stuff to people and they say stuff back. That's all it is. And sometimes that. Inter that stuff creates an interaction, it creates a connection. Does that make sense? In regards to texting people, so connecting as an introvert, I guess through text, I would say try and meet up as soon as possible. Text, I want you to, look, do you feel like you can get a person more in real life or by text? For me, I'd probably say in real life, I can understand, see that person more and feel them more. Same goes for text. People can't see who Riley Corwell is through text. They see parts of me, and that's it. Without full context. So if you're texting people, you can try and meet up as soon as possible. Try and... Online relationships are all well and good, but try and meet people. Meet up with them. That's where you'll actually connect. Arguably, I'd say that long-distance relationships that are mostly electronic, you should try and sort out meeting up as quickly as possible because that will either probably make or break your relationship because you'll either connect more or you'll realise that you're not actually that connected and then it'll die off. Anyway. Also, would you have you ever wondered how, you know, have you ever wanted to know the answer to how to stop judging your words or overanalyzing your words? Have you ever thought about that? Because I just wanted to say that the whole not putting pressure and expectations on your social interactions, like I mentioned two minutes ago, I wanted to say, do, does that sound similar to not judging yourself? If, if I'm not expecting anything of myself, do you think I'm judging myself for anything I say or do? Probably not. I'm probably not. So, 
And if the outcome of my conversations doesn't really matter, it's just saying stuff to people and that's it. Am I, do I really need to overanalyze everything I'm saying? Not really, because it doesn't, it doesn't, there's no, it's just saying stuff. I can't know for sure what's going to lead to what, nor should I care because I'm just going to interact with people and I'm going to, I just will naturally find people on the same wavelength as, or I'll just not be on the same wavelength as people. There's no point overanalyzing or judging anything I say or do really. I can self-reflect, but that's really it. A couple more things I wanted to say that, okay, look, social skills. Do you believe that if you're in a situation where you've got high anxiety, like in your whole life, like all the time, high anxiety, high levels of overthinking, would you, uh, is the right way to address that developing social skills or is it addressing the source problem? What, what is the source problem? Do you know what that is? Would you say the source problem is just the anxiety itself? Because I would say it's just the anxiety itself, the overthinking itself. So you would, I would probably say this whole social skills thing, people don't have that much luck with making connections with developing social skills purely. Like they focus on that instead of focusing on dealing with their anxious and overthinking traits in their, in this, in themselves, because yeah, they're not addressing the source. So address, like for me, my whole journey of, you know, putting myself in uncertain situations, you know, moving out the jujitsu, all that stuff that maybe I had to adapt to things. I had to deal with stuff on my own. You know, I did all this more social, all the socializing at a new job going out to the world and, and talking to people, socializing there, going to events. When I first got to Melbourne, socializing there, proving to myself that I could deal with life all alone, if need be, that built my confidence up. The jujitsu built my confidence up. I addressed the source. I addressed the anxiety and overthinking itself. I didn't just develop social skills. And as I got better, social skills just naturally came because I was comfortable. Like extroverts have not trained themselves in social skills. They are in a normal, natural fucking state of being able to socialize. So does that make sense? Does that make, se does that make, does that make sense why if you are very anxious and you are overthinking all the time and that is what you've experienced for years or your whole life, that focusing on oh, building, yeah, I've got to learn the skills to move my hands a certain way and talk a certain way. Do you see how that's actually just going to make you overthink? It is really not going to address the, the core problem. So, you know, anyway, don't focus on social skills, focus on the source, subscribe, and you can do that if you want, if you feel like you want to see videos about that. Also, I want you to know that if you're going to improve, like, your social life, you know, you can work on yourself by locking yourself away from society and going to the gym and grinding and hustling. I think that stage is, is valid, probably not going to do it forever. But it's valid, grinding and hustling and working, shadow work, all that shit. But ultimately, you will need to to socialize as well. Like you can, I, you can get better and less anxious and more comfortable in yourself and more certain of who you are and what you're going to say and what you're going to do. But you still need to put yourself in social situations where you're meeting people. I just want you to know that. That's it. Summary of how you connect as an introvert. I want you to understand. Actually, can you summarize it for me? You sum you summarize for me. How do you connect as an introvert? What do you need to keep in mind? Do you need to focus on, on building social skills when really, really you've got deep-seated anxiety and obsessive thinking problems that need to be addressed? Do you focus on social skills? Yes or no? No? Perfect. Love it. Now, it doesn't matter all the perfect words that you say and all the perfect things that you do and how much silence is between what you say and what the person says. Does it matter? doesn't matter the topics you talk about or how much you make them laugh as opposed to you know just saying stuff to a person maybe they say stuff back you're just seeing them listening to them do you think maybe that's more important that's right perfect should you judge and overanalyze everything you say and do probably not right probably not what about should you just try your best just say stuff 
do stuff and just don't focus on the outcome because essentially you can't possibly know what the right thing to say or do is because everything is subjective you might get a bad response because that person's got a different like energy than you and that's really not anyone's fault is that is that valid awesome so if you have a feeling that other stuff i say could be beneficial to you join the peaky pines email community in the description have a good day goodbye comment something if you want